guys welcome back to the channel for another video if you're new here my name is Jerry Nicomicea but all my friends call me G and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face if you haven't already girl go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe make sure to follow me on Instagram girl for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads so in today's video I'm going to be sharing easy simple ways any and everybody can transition into fall if you're like me and you want to get fall vibes but it's the weather is not cooperating these tips are for you girls and I'm also going to be sharing some new in pieces so if you're interested in this video keep watching before we hop into the tips I want to share a few new in pieces I don't have that many but these are perfect for fall and a few of these are great as we transition into fall I did find these pieces on walmart.com and this portion of the video is sponsored by walmart so thank you so much to walmart for sponsoring this portion of the video now the pieces I picked up y'all they are girl they're good the colors are giving the fall vibes they're affordable but they're giving you on trend and extremely fashionable so the first piece I had to pick these up so if you've been watching my fashion content you guys know this is right up my alley this is my vibe so when I saw these in black I had to get them now if you also watch my um fashion content you guys know I have these in burgundy also, if you missed out on that shoe, this is your time to get them. Um, they also come in burgundy and black. I didn't get those because I already have a pair of burgundy and black. But I had to pick up the black because, baby, anytime you're going to give me a furry shoe, sign me up. Now, what I love about these, these are like a wedge. So these are a little more comfortable than the shoes I have. The ones I have is like more of a skinny heel. These are a wedge and I love them. These are by the brand Scoop. Now, anytime I'm shopping on Walmart.com, the first brand I go to is Scoop. I think you guys are actually going to see me style these shoes up with the next item we're about to talk about. Now, I end up picking up this dress in the dark denim. It's like black or a charcoal gray. Now, when I opened the package, I could definitely see I should have sized down. With the brand Scoop, I would definitely say it runs true to size I have this thing where I'm always sizing up because I'm like okay if something doesn't have stretch I need to size up with this dress I got in an extra large and it is a true I believe 14 12 14 I should have sized down for the 8 10 now to style this dress up I did use those furry mules I cinched the waist in with like a belt just to give you guys an idea on how you can style this up you don't have to just put it on and go you could if you like but when I saw it I said oh I want to zhuzh it up a little so I added me some black sunglasses I added me a nice little cinched belt with the furry mules and this right here is a cute fall vibe affordable didn't try too hard but I'm giving you the most okay this dress is so good the quality everything on it is a 10 out of 10 I would recommend and this is just a piece that's gonna be super easy to wear during fall the next item is actually something that's on my fall wish list was well, checked off now I have been looking for like a baby doll dress with this silhouette I've really been wanting something like this but I haven't come across something that will work for me I love the fact that this dress is lightweight it's a mini dress but it's not like super short on me so I feel comfortable wearing it without leggings or tights I love this I plan on wearing this with thigh high boots ankle boots this I, dress it is a perfect piece to transition into fall because it is sleeveless but you can layer it to get that fall or winter vibe so since it's not completely cold outside the way I would do like a transitional look I will wear a sheer shirt under because it's still giving you long sleeve we're not completely in like winter fall I still can breathe I'm not gonna be hot but you still get like the fall vibes because because it is long sleeve oh my god y'all and I paired it with a pair of booties now right now I feel like on cool days I can get away with a booty but a full like calf length or thigh high boot we're not there yet so the way I style this is exactly the way I plan on wearing this as we get more into winter when it gets cold all I would do is literally put on a turtleneck with the dress and also maybe like some tights and boots to layer it and give it more of a winter look but this is a piece I feel like you can definitely use to transition from any season honestly the next two pieces you can wear them as a set but i purchased them to wear them separately let's start off with the blazer if you know me you know i love texture i feel like when you are transitioning into like that fall winter texture is going to be your best friend it's definitely going to add some zhuzh a little oomph to your look a little more carriage a little more personality so I picked up this patent leather jacket y'all I paired it with some shorts like every year this color is always the color okay you would never go wrong with like this burgundy red ox blood color you can't go wrong this is something that you can invest in and have years and years and years to come 
I believe this color was like the color of the season maybe two years ago. And every time fall and winter come, this is a color that I always want to pull out. I, this, this deep red, oh my God, it looks so good on my skin. It's just, it's good. And if we've been honest, I feel like this color will look good on anybody. So had to pick up this blazer. Love the blazer so much. I picked up the skirt. Oh, also the blazer and the skirt comes in black patent leather. <sighs> Y'all, I'm trying not to buy anything black. I'm struggling, so bear with me, but I'm telling my girls out there who like black, these, this little combo, it comes in black, okay? I love the blazer so much that I actually picked up the skirt. Now with the skirt, the skirt did not work for me. Let's talk about the skirt but I did order it already. It didn't come uh, in time for the video, but I placed the order for a larger size. Now this skirt, if you are slim and you don't have like hips, you can get your regular size. With this skirt, y'all look at this skirt. The color is sickening. The quality, this skirt feels like butter, okay? It only thing is, it doesn't have any stretch. So what I would say is you have to size up. So most likely, well, anytime I buy things, I always have to size up and then get my waist taken in. I'm going to do the same thing with this skirt because I need this skirt in my own um, my wardrobe. Just imagine this skirt with like a nude um, turtleneck bodysuit. Oh my God, so good. Like I have to have this, but I already placed my order because I know how y'all do. But those are all of the pieces that I picked up from walmart.com. I'm going to link all of these items down in the description box if you are interested in any of these items. I also leave the size that I picked up down below. Once again, I want to give a big thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, so now let's hop into the tips. Now this is the fun part because I feel like these are simple tips that any and everybody can do. And these are also tips that I use every single year when I'm transitioning into any season but right now we're talking about fall so the first tip is going to be change your color palette simple right but listen right now I cannot like fully change over my closet because one minute is 68 degrees then it's 98 degrees so I can't fully commit to changing over my closet but right now I've been pulling for like the deeper tones and the browns I've been mixing a lot of white with like the burgundies and all of those type of things like play with the color palette also this fall I said I wanted to challenge myself and get out of my comfort zone so one thing I'm trying my hardest not to do y'all I'm allowing myself to shop for fall, but I don't want to buy anything black. Like, ugh, if you know me, you know how hard that's about to be. But lately I've been into like greens and mint greens, sage green, aqua blues. I honestly feel like those colors are going to look very beautiful during fall and winter with like blacks and I can mix them with cognac browns and neutrals. I feel like I want to challenge myself to get out of my comfort zone of only black. I'm gonna allow myself to wear black, but it's gonna be pieces in my wardrobe. But right now, since we cannot fully switch over to our winter wardrobe, right now I would definitely say, in order for you to transition into fall, winter, definitely play with the colors. Like, yeah, the first tip is change your color palette and pull out some fall colors for your everyday outfits. Tip number two, pull out the pieces you cannot wear during summer, but you also can't wear them during winter this is the perfect medium right now so when I say that like right now I am enjoying wearing all of my furry mules if I wanted to wear this shoe in the summer I would look crazy it's 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 a fur shoe like where are you going it's hot outside if I wanted to wear this shoe in the winter I will also look crazy because now I'm freezing right now is the perfect time to pull out things like this I can't wear it in the summer but I also can't wear it in the winter time I have y'all I have so many fur mules and sandals and slides baby they are literally out of the closet in heavy rotation because I know this won't last that long and this is always like my time September like the end of August September I'm pulling them out also this is the perfect time to pull out sheer tops like long sleeve sheer tops um tweed shorts because in a winter time you're not wearing those things but right now is the perfect time to pull out all of the things like I said you can't wear them in the summer and you can't wear them in the winter but you can wear them now so that's definitely tip number two and I've definitely been enjoying it like kind of like this uh denim cape i only pull this out like pre-fall i don't wear this in the summer and i don't wear it in the winter right now is like the only time of the year i actually pull it out the next tip is actually something that each year i look forward to doing i'm not always successful at it but i always will recommend it but we're about to get a little deep into it because i i had a theory this morning so the next tip is play with your makeup colors like 
it's the time to pull out the orange blushes and deeper bronzers. The next tip is change up your makeup. Like play with some fall colors, nice little eyeshadow look, deepen your blushes, get some bron deeper bronzer. And y'all know how we feel around here, these parts. This is the time to pull out the dark lips. I love seeing the girls with purple lips and the deep bloodshot red lips. I think it's time for me to re-up on some lipsticks. But when I was in the store, kind of like looking for different fall lipsticks, I started to go a little deeper into the makeup. And I was like, oh my God, I kind of want to like play with makeup this fall. That's like, one way that we can definitely transition into fall. So tip number four, I'm smiling because I'm excited because this is also something that I'm about to try. As we transition into fall, we're not there yet. The first thing I feel like people should do is change your hair color. Like this is the time for the deep reds and the highlights and the ombres and the balayage. And this is the time to also go lighter. I'm excited because I think I want to do brown. I want to do brown hair with like highlights and I feel like this is the perfect time to do it. I think it's going to look so good with like brown hair with highlights. Like hmm, not too long. I think I want to stop here, bust down middle part, but I also think I want it short enough to when I give you a flip over look, like a side part, it's giving you old Hollywood glam. Oh my God. So yeah, I wanna change my hair color. I have been deep in like the Pinterest world looking at different hair colors. And right now y'all, brown hair with highlights have your girl like, mm, it, it, it has me and I wanna try it out. So I feel like that's definitely one way that you can transition into fall very seamlessly. Like change your hair color. Like this is the time girl. Tip number five is also something that I'm doing right now and I'm enjoying it. One is gonna be tr forcing myself. Well, I don't wanna say forcing cause that sounds a little rah. I am challenging myself to try new things. And when I say new things, I'm talking restaurants. I've been trying new foods, new drinks, and just trying all type of, type of different things. I went to the coffee shop and I tried a different drink. I didn't get my regular drink. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try something from the fall list. I went to the ice cream um, shop. I didn't get my regular chocolate ice cream cone. I tried a fall flavor. So I'm not forcing. I'm challenging myself to try new things. And I've also been very open to allowing myself to explore new brands because I don't know everything. So you guys have actually been putting me on to different brands that I should try this fall. So I've just been exploring and I'm actually having fun. So that's definitely tip number um, five. Try new things, get out of your comfort zone, try new things, be open-minded and just have fun. Like right now, I'm very excited for fall. Usually I'm just kind of like, mm, whatever. But right now I'm very excited for fall. I'm excited to pull out all of the looks and just try new things. And when you try new things, something about breaking free from your comfort zone, it opens you up to other things. It's like it opens other doors. And right now, y'all, I, I went to a farmer's market. I went to a farmer's market, okay? So that's what I mean when I say try new things. I went to a farmer's market. I also went to, um, a, not a, it was like um, a art workshop. Yeah, that I also was taking piano lessons. Girl, I'm, I'm trying new things this fall, okay? And in the midst of me trying new things, I started to make this fall wish list. I would also recommend making a fall wish list. What is something that you really, really, really wanna do? Whether you're doing it with a friend, a husband, girlfriend, sister, brother, mother, or you by yourself. Make a fall wish list and check those things off that wish list. All right, girlfriend, so that is all that I have for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below and let me know what would you put on your fall wish list. What is something that you actually want to do? One thing that I know I want to do and I'm already in motion with it. For those of you who know me, you know I love scrapbooking. I print out all of my pictures and I love scrapbooking. I saved all of my pictures for fall. I want to like be inside on a cold cozy night drinking like a tea on the floor scrapbooking so i've been buying all of these scrapbooks that's definitely one thing on my fall wish list what is something on your fall wish list oh i also want to make cookies from scratch i'm a little nervous but i ain't really got nothing to lose but i mean it, what, 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 what could really go wrong mm. yeah comment down below let me know something that you will put on your fall wish list and i will see you girls in the next one